good morning kind of welcome back to my channel so I have not had enough of that uh, okay so I'm taking a one video break from the Disney princesses um to do a Boxy Charm unboxing because we have the August Boxy Charm. I don't want to shake it because I don't know what's in it. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. It feels pretty tightly packed in here. Ooh, okay, it was very tightly packed. So we have our totally boxy charm. Uh I don't understand what that theme means, but we have variation at number 11. I'm not even going to look at the prices. We'll go through it at the end. We'll also do a little try on. Okay. So, the one thing in here I think is going to make this entire box worth it, because I'm now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of like, mmm, is the Becca... Hydra Mist setting powder. Oh, thank God. I need, I needed a hydrating setting powder. Okay, so next we have these two. These are from Ace Beauty. These are Shimmering or Glimmer Shadows. We have French Vanilla and Huckleberry. So we have the shade French Vanilla. And we have the shade... Huckleberry. Those are pretty. Okay. Next we have... What is all over my box? My weird little fuzzy things. We have the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Um, Alright, next we have the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. Ooh. Maximum effort, ma or minimum effort, maximum results. Bring out skin's inner radiance. All right, we'll go through this in a second. Let's just see what it looks like. I like that it has a similar drop, dropper to the uh, priming essence. That feels nice. Okay. This is the Haru Haru Wonder Makai Berry Antioxidant Mask. Anti-wrinkle, brightening, dual functioning mask. Okay. Um, we'll do a try on, but before we do a try on, let's go ahead and go through the prices. So the Becca Hydra Mist and Refresh Powder. This weightless powder sets and refreshes makeup for a silky, smooth, and visible finish. Formulated with 50% water and glycerin, powder creates a mist-like sensation on the skin for a seamless finish with a comfortable feel. The Glow Ahead Illuminating... Oh, aha. Uh -huh. This retails for $39. <laughs> Having a moment today. The Wander Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil is a multitasking beauty elixir that hydrates and absorbs into the skin, revealing a bouncy, youthful complexion, no matter what skin type you have. Huh. This lightweight, powerful formula nourishes and primes the skin and helps restore skin's moisture barrier while providing a youthful glow. Retails for $42. Okay. Big Ego Mascara retails for $23. Ultra Black Vegan Mascara that lifts your, lifts your lashes and delivers a fully loaded flutter for up to 16 hours. The Glimmer Duo by Ace Beauty retails for $25. I really hope that's for the two of them. Um, high pigmented soft shadows, creamy texture, designed for ultimate color payoff. 
provide bold color in one swipe without fallout creasing or fading and the mask at retail for nine dollars containing extracts of my care berry I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it provides your skin with antioxidants and anti-aging effects. Patented technology in this mask encourages your skin to do healthy skin functions. Like regenerate anti-inflammation and targets skin imperfections. This sheet is made of 100% pure cotton with non-chlorine bleaching process. That allows a delicate touch with enhanced adherence with the skin. Okay. So we'll go ahead and try this. And then I'm going to go do a separate video. Come back and give my takes on everything I have used for the boxy try. And I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to use the mascara. And the only reason I'm not going to use the mascara, and give me a second, I have a very good reason for not using the mascara. This feels good. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the unicorn essence. Um, I don't want to open another mascara when I have three. It's just pointless. Okay, so this feels good. I'm going to go ahead and hop off camera, do my face, and I will be back and we will talk about everything I did use. Okay, so we are back. Let's talk. My foundation went on almost flawlessly on top of that. I was pleasantly surprised. Again, I didn't use this. I haven't used a mask, obviously. Um, the shadows. I mean, they're pretty. So I don't really have any complaints about them. I just, I don't know. Had I not done this particular look, I just don't see these two shadows teaming up together. But that's just me. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I like the powder. What I don't like I don't like how it sits on my concealer. And I'm going to try it with more concealers, but I do like the powder. I like that my face feels very fresh. And you know what? Actually because I didn't contour yet, pull my hair back up because I didn't contour yet. We're gonna do it on camera. We are gonna do this on camera so we can see how this performs on it. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda nervous. I'm sitting here thinking, it's a water powder, so my face is gonna be wet. So the powder's gonna grab, but it didn't. So I like it. I do like the powder, I just, I'm gonna try it with a different concealer. Um, it did kind of oxidize my concealer. And the only thing I will say I didn't really like about the powder. All in all, um, I wish I would have gotten like a lippy instead of the mask or the or the peel off. 
mask inside of the sheet mask. Um, but this box wasn't bad. I could have done without the mascara. But once I go through the mascaras, I do have... I'm excited to see how it is. So I'm not even going to open it because once you open a product, it does get an expiration date. But I don't have any complaints. I really don't. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. So make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell. Bye.